Hey Transferring Intermediate, today we're going to do an activity 2-9. And the reason that we're going to do this activity is because we all need to feel that we're a part of something. So our activity to unite today is going to be the pledges. And everyone please stand and join us in the pledge. Hey guys, you know us, and we are all about having a great time and having fun with learning. But you also know that we are serious about our rules and procedures. So please watch some of these new procedures about the hallway. Okay, just as you saw in the video, this week we're going to be committing to appropriate hallway procedures where we're walking on a straight line, one head directly behind the next, and we're doing it quietly. So, repeat after me. I will commit to hallway procedures. I will commit to hallway procedures. Yay! Intermediate, we're here to talk to you about the dress code. We've noticed some of you are wearing some really cute outfits, but they're really not appropriate for school. So I'm going to talk about shorts and skirts, leggings and tank tops. So let's start with tank tops. Tank tops, they have to be at least three inches wide on the shoulders. If you have spaghetti straps, if you're a shirt with spaghetti straps, you have to wear a jacket. If you're wearing shorts or a skirt, it has to be at least fingertip length. And I know this is kind of hard because some of you are growing and you have long legs, but it's gotta be fingertip length. Girls, if you're gonna wear leggings, they you have to have a shirt on that is long enough to cover your behind and it ha the shirt needs to be at least fingertip length as well. Um, I know it's really stylish right now to have holes in your jeans and stuff like that and that's okay, but if there are holes in your jeans, you have to have, it cannot show skin. It has to have something behind it, some kind of material or something behind the holes. We cannot see skin through the holes. And it can't be all a whole bunch of holes in your jeans. It has to just be one here or there. So that's it for clothing. Now Miss Day is gonna talk about hair. All right, for your um, hair, you must have natural, all one color hair, and it must be clean and well-groomed. And if you're a boy, um, it cannot be, it needs to be above your ears and above your collar, and nobody's hair needs to go below their eyebrows. Um, also, boys, no ponytails, mohawks, braids, or designs shaved into your hair. Okay, and if y'all ever have any questions, just come to the office. Do We, we can do a quick uh, dress code check and let you know whether what you're wearing is appropriate or not. And we hope to see you all tomorrow. Hi, my name is Salisa Jackson. I'm a technology teacher, and your lunch menu for Tuesday is the chicken potato bowl. Hey guys, we're here to bring you the trivia question. Ms. Bowman's gonna help me this week. And so we're gonna talk about the solar eclipse, as you can see it here behind me. Um, as you heard Ms. Jenkins say earlier that the solar eclipse is a historic event. That's why on the first day of school, we all went out to watch it. So your trivia question for this week is, when will the next total solar eclipse happen? When will the next total solar eclipse happen? So look that up and turn your answers into the office. Good luck. Bye, guys.